He's not special. He is not deep or different than other guys. He is not unique or irreplaceable or any of the things you tell yourself in your head. The conversations you both had, they were good because you are good at holding a conversation. The person he is in your memories, that's a version of him that you created. And the love you thought you shared, it was an attachment. One that can be rebuilt because you were the one that built it in the first place. So How does she know all of those things about me? She's been spying on me. By the way, what was that shit she put on first? I've seen plenty of makeup videos on TikTok for you guys. I've never seen that before. This is kind of fucked up, but I do acknowledge that. A few of you guys have been asking me to redo my video on how I schedule my date calendar. If you don't know my content, I talk about my dating life. As someone that's equally repulsive, desperate, and persistent, I go on a lot of dates. Here's how I schedule them. The first tier is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. These are perfect for dates where I think the guy might ghost me. Because if I get ghosted or like canceled on, on one of those nights, I'm not gonna really care. I can just go to bed early, move along with my life. The second tier are perfect for first dates. Thursdays and Sundays, the bookends of the weekend, and obviously like I want to schedule good first dates not on my prime nights in the weekend, because if they cancel, flake, or if it goes badly, I didn't ruin the third tier, which is Friday and Saturday. That's for second dates, or like really, really promising first dates, but mostly I'm going to put my first dates in tier two, and flaky guys in tier one, or just fuck buddies in tier one. Hope this helps. Now I'm just curious, how many dates do you guys go every week? And how do you schedule your dates? Oh hell no, don't get too close to these broads. They put their gina juice on themselves. Maybe that's what the girl in the first clip put on first. Huge manipulation tactic that men use to create a false sense of affection and connection with you. My name is Adele Kelleher and I am your dating coach bestie. And please share this with a friend who might benefit from this advice. You want to be careful if he's overly affectionate with you, starts treating you like an established relationship or showering you with words of praise and emotions way too early in the relationship, especially before you've had a chance to create a real foundation. This is not a connection and moment of love. This is manipulation. Seriously, watch out for this because it is. What is she talking about? Women are the ones that use manipulation tactics to get what they want. But low key, love bombing does work from time to time. All is fair in love and war. How I met your mother. There she is. So. This is our first day. I'm just recording this because, you know, maybe we'll need this one day. God, she is beautiful. Oh, my God. Hey. hey. Can we just go straight to your house and skip the day? I have to shit so bad.